So, if you clicked on this video, you're probably thinking one of three things. Number one, the Drake Caterpillar's old news, GFA. Why are you making a video about it now? Number two, GFA, the Drake Caterpillar is not the best cargo ship in the game. You're an idiot. Or number three, what the heck is the Drake Caterpillar? And why is it the best cargo ship in the game right now? Well, let's roll the intro and I will answer all three questions in the form of interpretive dance. All right, not really. It will be a 30 minute gameplay video with objectively funny jokes and narration. Enjoy. Now, I should probably get this out of the way right at the beginning of the video. I am not a fan of Drake ships at all. However, I have recently come to love the Drake Caterpillar. And I guess the Cutter series, they're pretty cool too. Uh, and the Vulture. And thinking about it, whilst we're on the topic of Drake ships, I do actually really like the firepower of the Corsair. Oh god. What have I become? Uh, Miss Piggy, don't buy a Drake ship! That was my uh, best Kermit impression, you're welcome. In all seriousness, I don't like many of the Drake ships. But, I finally got around to buying a Drake Caterpillar in-game, and let me tell you, this thing not only looks absolutely incredible, but it offers so much. I know we shouldn't really talk about the future updates to this ship, as God knows when they're actually going to make it into the game, but did you know that the plan is to make this ship modular? Meaning you can control how long it is, how many cargo bays there are, or if you want to change them out to other modules like med bays or armories. I mean, that's going to be awesome. And furthermore, the cockpit is basically a mini herald. Well, not so much with the data running, but it will be able to detach from the main body and be totally self-sufficient with beds, toilets, and its own engines. Yeah, this ship is going to be top tier cargo hauling when it's finished. But that is way down the line and we haven't heard any more movement or noise about the Caterpillar in years, so there's no point in talking about it right now. So, let's get back on track to today's video. We decided to take this bad boy out into the black and try to fill it up with one SCU boxes of CM. If you didn't catch one of my recent streams, we actually did this before using a reclaimer and we filled up the Caterpillar with the large 16 SCU boxes which took no time at all to fill and we made a lot of AUEC. In fact, we had too many boxes from the reclaimer that we actually ended up filling up a Starfarer too. So, yeah, we made bank. However, we loved the idea of making the most of the now underdog in the salvaging world, the Drake Vulture. Our story begins on station, preparing to head out and meet up at a salvage ship location. We decided to try and crack a C2, which we know in a Vulture you can't do on your own because it's too big. However, we wanted to see if we had multiple Vultures, could they get the job done together? Let's find out. Let's see where our see where our missions are. You are clear to launch. That sound. They need to add like a vehicle reversing sound effect for this, don't they? Like they need like a boop, boop, vehicle reversing. Boop, boop, vehicle reversing. Boop, boop. Watch out, old lady. There's a vehicle reversing. Boop. Old lady dead. Rest in peace, Dorothy. <laughs> I mean, as a as a shot, look at that. All right, I'm going pretty pretty speedy. Need to bring her on down. Slow down there. Whoa! If you smash into the salvage, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. I believe we're both ready. Let it rip. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, three, two, one. Break. I I forgot the button. What's the button? <laughs> <laughs> so anticlimactic. Says size exceeded. Are we both close enough? We have to be within sixty yeah. meters ish. The same. It says the same for me. Oh, dang it. I really thought okay. you I really thought we'd get away with two vultures to stack on this. Sadly, much like my honeymoon, this was a disappointing crescendo. We could not stack crack the C2. Well, at least with two vultures. So we decided to move on to something smaller and come back when we had more vultures to try again. 
Nice. Skabloosh. Right, suck it on up. I'm going to position myself behind the vulture and ready to extract all of your cargo boxes. Interesting. I hear retro thrusters from someone else. Who else has arrived? Oh, it's a Starfarer. I knew it was. No Mac in the Starfarer. Heck yeah. Dude, that thing sounds incredible. If you just keep ejecting, I can then pull it over. Start loading up the cat. No Mac, um, do you want to get in position? Because once I finish this, I'll start refueling quickly with you whilst we... While whilst we start moving to the next claim. Here I am to save the day. Are you are you full up as well, Kitten? No, I'm nowhere close to it. Have I'm you five out of thirteen? You might as well put those five on here whilst I'm doing this. Because otherwise we're gonna have to do it anyway. But sooner or do you know what I mean? You're gonna if we do another Vanguard, you're gonna fill up quicker. Up to you. Mm, yeah, that's true. Stacky, stacky. Ash, are you joining us? Yeah, he's on his way. Perfect. I am just under two million away. Well, I'm heading to Creole for. Perfect. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, kitten! You, you nearly. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you nearly killed me with that freaking box you just you know chucked. What? You know what? Both of you can just yourself, okay? Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Now. Uh, <laughs> I have arrived. <laughs> Sorry. Where, where did he... Oh, no. Oh. At this stage, we had just finished unloading the full vulture and we're going to make our way to new contracts. So, we accepted two new contracts and agreed to split up to save time, munch up all of the ships in those contracts, and then regroup back at the C2. Before I could meet up with the crew, however, I needed to refuel. And without a station in sight, this is where Normac comes in with that wonderful Starfarer. C2 once I have refueled. I love it when a plan comes together. I have requested thy docking. docking. There we go. There he's up there. I was close. There we go. This is cool. Hello, Starfarer, my good friend. We are docked. Refuel me, baby. Request a fuel. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm sitting here taking screenshots. It's like I'm not, I haven't requested it. Confirm purchase. Oh, so does it automatically charge me? You don't have to give, you don't have to say how much I have to pay. I just, I just pay you it whatever will, the game. The, it will like auto select uh, a price, but they can select a specific price as well. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Our uh, pyro is going to be crazy. Stand by for launch. Thank you very much for your business. Backing up. We are refueled and ready to ready to go. Hey, GFA again here. Just a really quick editor's note. This is not part of the standard narration. This is what I'm talking about with the ship tractor beams on the cat. They just kind of suck right now. You can't actually see where you're loading your cargo. Other than the first bay here, you can't see further down the cat. And even this first bay, it can't, the view kind of sucks. I hope they change this. Maybe put them as remote tractor beams rather than having the console right where the tractor beam is situated on the ship itself and maybe we could have those tractor beams move from where they currently are which is underneath the exterior of the ship on either side and maybe we could place them in the middle of each bay so maybe each bay could have one on the ceiling and then you could drag drag in your cargo from either side by just spinning around and dragging it in i think that's probably a better way to do it but we'll see this this ship clearly needs a gold standard overhaul and i'm sure we'll get that in uh, in the future back to the video bye Hey, Ash is in my favorite vulture paint as well. Welcome in, Ash. Are you, uh, am I unloading from you as well? Uh, you can indeed. Copy that. I'll put myself sort of in the same vicinity. Right, that's fine. I'll do that properly. But you know what? We have reached the end of the capacity of what the tractor beam is going to allow us to do tonight. All right, boys. You ready for some cracking? Okay, I need to address what's about to happen. I don't really know why, but when we went back to crack the C2, I sank into some deep Southern American accent, and I had this really good idea to start making some smashing idioms. In fact, 
I think we need to make a GFA book of Southern idioms. How does that sound? Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe after you've heard what's about to happen. Damn right, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I feel like a cockroach on a whippersnapper. What does that, that even mean? Is that so <laughs> yeah, that's not even like... <laughs> is that not something they say in, in Texas? No, not even okay. close. Okay, let me try this one. Maybe in Texas. That feels like a horseshoe on a cow trough. <laughs> not even. No? Okay. Um, tickle my knees and ship my bridges. Wow. <laughs> you want, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just pay extra you, for want, that. you want someone else to tickle your knees <laughs> and then physically go in and shit inside your britches. <laughs> is that is that not Doesn't what that I mean just like? wearing them and then pooping themselves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then handing them back to you and making sure you put them on. <laughs> sounds sounds, like, a, sounds right. like a job for Randy Fitzgerald. When you get close, does it say size exceeded? Even if it does, just it turn does. it on and it does. Try turning it on anyway. Yeah, if you all have fracture, fracture turned on. It is on. Mm, that's a shame. I really thought you could stack fracture. Maybe you can't. Maybe that's just not a thing. I'm I thought you could. I'm pretty sure we've done it before, though. It might have just done it on such small things. I think matter. we did We did do it, but I don't remember what ship it was on. It might have been a ship you can do on your own. Could we not fracture something. this by shooting it? Let's, uh... Stand back. <laughs> Everyone stand back. Keep clear of the vehicle. Oh my god, the Starfarer was right there. That would have been it is. tragic. Well, in the words of Randy Fitzgerald, <clears throat> this plot's getting thicker than a than pea soup with some flour in it. <laughs> On my mark. Yes, fire. sir. Okay, I do declare I'm ready. Oh, fire! He didn't say mark! <laughs> <laughs> Who's mark? <laughs> okay, it, well, it's, it's fractured. Sure is. It's not fractured. Oh, God. It's not, is it? Do Damn. we have to shoot more? We may have to shoot more. Yeehaw! Little so rip, boy. That's, that's soft death right now, isn't it? Yeah. And now. That's real death. There we go. Now that's some real death. <laughs> <laughs> well, the capital H. I love the lights on the vulture when they're on. They are so bright. Get the salvage pieces. Yep. Oh. Suck them up. Suck it on up. So why the on earth would you ever need to fracture anything? <laughs> you just blow it up. <laughs> that there C2 is more broken a pat a pat <laughs> apart <laughs> than a glass window on a minivan from, from a school mom who's dropping her kids off to school every day. Monday you to don't Friday. Have to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to explain the idiom. Yeah, we're going. We're moving. Oh, no. okay. I'm with I'm with Ash. Exploding. This is so cool, dude. We are en route. If you send down a rope, I'll climb up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there. That stays. That looks nice. Targeting fracture point, sir. Vulture 2 fracturing. Fracturing also. Suck it up. Prepare to back away. Three, two, one. Back. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Do you have a sec to settle? Begin salvage operations. Scrape it up, boys. I'll open her up. Hello. Hello. Ashley coming into deposit. I am indeed. Copy that. Uh, Payne, if you could report to the front oh. cargo belt pod, please. I'm on the right side. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. If you stop there, rotate and face your left. Thank you very much. Oh, question for unload. Order to full. Question for unload is on. Gerda on. Kitten's coming into position. Pain, if you want to unload Kitten, I'll unload Dash. Oh yeah, nice duck. Uh, duck, if you want to go to the right of Kitten, because then you okay. can be in line with the last bay, because this is the front bay you're with Ash. If you go to the other side of Kitten and line up. Yes, sir. Dude, I love this. But I really, <laughs> no, really enjoy this no, kind of gameplay. Hey, what's up, Normac? 
Hammer said he's got third bay. Are you on the... Okay, yeah, Hammer's on the ship. Oh, this, uh, I love this gameplay, guys. <clears throat> I can't lie. Thank you all for coming and... Coming and doing this. This is so sick. Like, a full-on squad. We're just unloading onto the cat. Three vultures lined up. Everyone's doing their job. This is some proper... This is some proper org shit right here. I love it. I really love it. I am unloaded. Alright, good work, team. That was efficient. We need it. We, we could do one more uh, one more big ship and we might fill the cat up because the front two bays are all... Uh, actually, I'll tell you what. We've got loads of room still, actually. Loads of room. GFA? Yes, sir. I am placing down a backpack on the floor. Yep. Please bring it over. It's got 11 crews. Put it in the ship and then give me the backpack back, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I have got a container that I might be able to put out actually as well. You Thank you, kitten. Okay. Everyone close up and uh, uh, let's make our way. GFA, uh, you said you had um, some food? Yes, perhaps? yeah. Come on, come on, come aboard. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll put him in here, duck. There we go. So there's a shared or, container or on the you ship. You can do like me and live it it in front of GFA. Open your mouth, Jeff. A. <laughs> Hide in the middle <laughs> plane. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to feed me a sandwich. Warning, warning. Doors of the Caterpillar are closing. Warning, warning. Doors of the Caterpillar are closing. Stand clear of the doors. Sound like a tube driver. The next stop is Islington. Okay, so <laughs> right. I don't know if you've seen the film Titanic, but cue the music to... Oh my God. Oh my god, it's like the Titanic. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, go up. Oh! That was close. Oh my god. That was the biggest asteroid I've ever seen, and it was pitch black. I didn't see it until the last second. I, I scraped by that, by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> I thought I was out of the asteroid field. That was genuinely like, I, I heard the freaking, I heard Celine Dion come on. That you was. Know, check your trousers? I, I don't need to check. There's shit in there, mate. And. <laughs> you also need to fly uncoupled so you can easier change your direction. Okay, kitten, back it on up, son. Roger that. Okay, Payne, Ash is at the front if you want to go and do Ash's one. Or the middle one. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, head over down there and open and get one of those. Uh, Ash, you might want to jump to the other side, sorry. Uh, kitten, your booty. There we go. I'll open the door that signify that they are okay to unload there. Yeah. Right, kitten, give me a second. Let me let me do this oh. over here. Pick up another. I can. Oh, good. Yeah, you we can you can really stack out this cat. Looking good. Good stacking. Good stacking. Goes away. Copy. It's stack four high. <laughs> yeah. If you come, if you come look. No, it looks good. I've gone four high over on this pod over here. Let's uh, let's close these doors up. We've come into like a very thick asteroid cluster that's in the, in. Right, I'm bringing my speed down. It's going to take me a nebula, bit longer yeah. to get to you guys. In the middle of a nebula, and I can't see my hand in front of my face. So. Thicker than some gravy that my mama used to make when I used to have my mama's meals when I was when I was younger, and she used to make me dinner, and it used to be used to make some really thick gravy. You didn't have to explain <laughs> it. I'm no scientist, but even I know that you have to wear a helmet in space. Kitten, however, seemed to forget about this and promptly found out what happens when your lungs and body enter a vacuum that would freeze you in a second and rob you of any oxygen. Which okay, is... where the heck did you die, kitten? Oh, I see uh, it. Up, no, Max, get your ship. corpse. No, I've just seen your corpse go fly. <laughs> Come on, no, Mac, have some respect for the dead. Man just came and yeeted your body through the freaking... <laughs> Rude. It was finally time to jump together back to Crusader and sell what we had obtained. Get it found. As long as you dock properly, you shouldn't. All right. Your ship, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> Flying on down, taking in the cat. 
Reclaimer yeah. for... How much in-game was it? In-game? Yeah, because you bought it in-game, right, the Reclaimer? Uh, it was 15 million, if I remember correctly. No! 15! Oh. Yes. There goes One Japan! Five. Oh, this even is right just now. purely disappointing. Off I go. They might even make bigger <laughs> no, uh, don't, salvaging don't. ship. <laughs> oh no, Noah Mac dropped his pad and from pure depression he ended it. Due to a few of the guys going offline, their cargo became not sellable. I assume the game registers it as stolen at this point. So we couldn't sell everything we got. So if you're watching, Ash, Captain Astro, Astro Tech, if, if, you, if you're watching, you owe me 500,000 AUEC. I will also take payment in beer at the next Bar Citizen event, just so you know. Guys, we did not make a lot. We made 312,000. <laughs> uh, no need to send me any. <laughs> Would you want 10p? I don't, I don't, I don't want to have to deal with the taxes on that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it. Do you agree that the Drake Caterpillar is the best cargo ship in Star Citizen right now, or do you have another favourite? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all things Star Citizen and help me beat the YouTube algorithm. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Peace.